Recently, Andrew got the new Canon lens, the 16mm f2.8 for the Canon R6. It's pretty exciting because I've always wanted to play with a wide lens with the R6. Even though I love the 35mm, it's my favorite lens, I really felt the shortcomings of it. And even the 24 to 105 when we went on our trips to the Yosemite National Park and Maui. The views were just so majestic, but I couldn't really capture it with these lens. On top of that, sometimes I just want to travel lighter, so I would end up giving up on the 24 to 105 just because it's so much heavier. The 16mm is light and small just like the 35mm. And I had the opportunity to try the lens out during my trip back to LA. And coincidentally, I had two awesome opportunities to try it out. My friend called me last minute and told me she was getting married in a courthouse in Orange County. And it was also my brother's 39th birthday. So I was able to try taking pictures with it at the courthouse and filming with it during my brother's birthday dinner. As you can see from these photos, the photos are extremely distorted. And that's because it does not have a lens correction preset within Lightroom yet. I read from comments in other videos that you can correct it using Canon's digital photo professional software. Then you can export it and edit it in Lightroom, but you won't be editing in the raw files anymore. And as you can see, the difference is huge. I really didn't need to use the 16 millimeter that day since it was pouring rain outside so we couldn't take any photos outside of the building, but I forgot my other lens so that's what I had to work with. Here you are looking at the 16mm in a very tight and low light setting. We were eating in a Japanese izakaya restaurant in Costa Mesa. There were many of us in a very small space, so the 16mm definitely helped. In this footage, you can see that the distortion is actually not as bad. From what I read in the comments and other videos, the distortion is actually fixed in video and JPEG formats. I had image stabilization on so you could see sometimes there's that crazy look in the footage. Also, I was pretty impressed by how fast the lens was able to focus in this low light setting. In the past, I've struggled with the focusing for the 35mm in low light setting. It usually takes a while for the lens to find the focus, but with the 16mm, it definitely felt much faster. So these are my test footage from using the 16mm with the Canon R6. It will definitely not be a lens that I would always keep on the Canon R6. I think in the future, I will mainly use it for vlogging, landscape photography, or shooting the Milky Way. Hopefully you find these footage to be helpful. And if you have any tips for using this lens, please let me know in the comments below. That's it for this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.